Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 20, today, verses 16 to 19. So Jesus asked the question last time, what's going to happen now that they've killed the, the heir, the king? Listen. He will come and destroy those vine dressers and give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, certainly not. Then he looked at them and said, what then is this that is written? The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Whoever falls on that stone will be broken, but on whomever it falls, it will grind him to powder. And the chief priests and the scribes that very hour sought to lay hands on him, but they feared the people, for they knew he had spoken this parable against them. So why did they respond? Well, certainly not. Because as Jesus was giving the parable, they knew, they figured it out. They said, he's talking about us. And they rejected that idea. No, absolutely not. Please, no, it can't be. And so they just, they just tried to push it away. But notice then uh, what's going to come. When you go against the king, you go against the son of the king, you will be destroyed. When God is love and he comes to you and you are insisting on being anti-love, What's going to happen? You will be destroyed. So now's the time to say, God, please change my thinking, change my heart, transform me, help me to be right. I want to be right. I know I'm wrong. Help me to be right. Transform me by your divine grace and strength. And he will be glad to do so. Friend, there's something we can pray about. Dear Father in heaven, each one needs Jesus. Each one needs the grace of heaven. I need it. Lord, all of us need it. Help us to be right. Help us to find your pathway. Help us to respond to Jesus faithfully when, when we are approached. May we do the will of you, Father. Thank you for hearing our request. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So, friend, let's be true to Jesus all the time. And all the right things will fall into place. May his blessings be upon you this day.